Hello guys, I'm back with another video and in this one I want to unlock the AM DBSL 2019. So we have done the events uh, for unlocking the Porsche 918 and the Mini JCW buggy. Uh, but those videos will be coming tomorrow and day after. Uh, but for now, the video which everyone wants to see, the uh, it is about the Aston Martin DBS Super Legera 2019. So we are at 36%. We just need 14% more to unlock the DBS. And the best way to do it is to do go and do these PR stunts. So we have to go and do this danger sign. Um, we can go like somewhere over here to do it. And in order to do it, I think we take out one of the fastest cars which we've got which is the Ferrari F99XX Evolution so where is my Ferrari? Um, yep there it is there it is this is a very good car uh, for doing these sort of events well since this car is like so fast we can do the danger sign, we can do the speed traps, uh, the speed zones very easily with this car. Okay, so as you guys have seen that the jump is not meant to be taken from this side. It's supposed to be taken from this side. Turn around when it is safe to do so. So I'm just going to come from around here. This car, guys, they, it is not made for uh, driving in the winters. Uh, but this car is still doing all right, I think. Destination. We just got 540 feet, but the angle was not good. Maybe this one will be better. No, this one did not even count. No, this one did not even count for some reason. That one counted, but that one will not be good. We just need to get a perfect angle. I don't know why it's not counting when we are going through there. Okay, this should be better. 743 feet. Why did it fail? Seriously? We have to go back and do it again. Six fifty three feet. A uh, new person best for us. Is the seasonal objective completed? No, three feet more. Seriously. We were like so close. We were so close. Five hundred and seventy-eight. That's not good enough. That is definitely not going to cut it. Okay, we have to go back again to this road. Um, so we were almost there, and we did it once, but that one failed. So we just going to try again. Eight hundred and fifty-six. 
Sie sehen alles alles dran. Ein Nebel ist das was. Sie sind Objekte komplette. Wir das Super Wheel Screen so wie News da das wäre. Der Porsche kann einmal an den Deutsch weil ich mal wurde der mal gut krass. Weil ich kann nicht haben wurde der. So, das sind die Mantel. Mm, das ist der Leder Wurst. Top 10,000, that's not bad at all. Not even a little bit. Okay, so that's good. Uh, so the next event is this one. We have to get a seasonal objective of 130. That should be very easy to do as well. So we're just going to soft travel there and we, could, we are going to try to attempt it. Even I think the 147, which is my personal day, that was done in this game. I think so, I'm pretty sure about that. This car is made to do these sort of events. Like even if you do bad, like even if you don't call the perfect lead, you're still going to do it. 150 and that'll work for us. Around, and this was not seven. even a good run. It was not. Um, so this is done. Another super wheel spin. We'll use it again. 400,000, thank you very much. Uh, we have two wheel spins as well. 160,000, wait. The Polaris buggy. Not really here for that, but okay. Um, so where's the next event? It's this one. Uh, this is a speed trap. We need uh, 161. Uh, and we are currently sitting at 167 is up on the best. Um, okay, we'll try to do it from here first. I think this car, even if you give it a little bit of straight, this car it accelerates so well that it can get to those digits easily. But this car is not made for driving on this one, for sure. Make sure that I take this corner perfectly. And we did a 185 miles per hour. See how it how easy it is to do these events when you're in this car. And that's super wheel spin. Mavda RX7 and Jeff $10,000. Yep, we are done with this. Uh, we have a wheel spin. $2,000. Nothing too special. 185. That, yeah, that's not good. Uh, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, I'm happy with that. But you know what the best thing is? We have unlocked the the car which we were looking for, the Aston Martin DBS Super Legera 2019. This has been unlocked. Great. That is what this video was all about. So I'm just going to quickly get into the Aston Martin. Um, and we'll see what customization options are there for this car. This looks so good. I especially like the back end of the car. Even in interior it's that's like really good. It doesn't have a proper gearbox, it just says it has buttons for the gearbox. But yeah, this one looks so good. Such a good car. Um, I'm going to customize this car, so we are going to customize this car in this video itself. Um, so we'll go and see what options are there for this car. Uh, Upgrades and tuning, custom upgrade. So first of all, we'll make it all-wheel safe. Um, so the stock powertrain is 715 horsepower from a 5.2 liter 
engine. This is a 7 litre V12 engine with 820 horsepower. Uh, even the one which we have, it's not too shabby. So I think we are going to give it that itself. Uh, we are going to put the race front bumper on. Uh, the rear wing as well, the adjustable one. I know it doesn't suit the car, but we have to do it. Uh, we have to get the snow tires as well because it is winter. We'll get the, we'll make them flat for sure. We'll make them stick out. Those look definitely, they look better now. Uh, the alloys, I think I like these ones. So I'm just going to keep it like that. Then we are going to get all the good stuff. Uh, so, if you see this, if you use the stock transmission, it's a little bit heavier, but uh, it has better acceleration. It has better acceleration. So we will be using the stock transmission. And the brakes, no, they, we don't have, we cannot upgrade the brakes. Okay, because the brakes on this one, they are already race brakes, I think. Uh, we'll go with the rally, uh, the race suspension. We'll get the anti-roll pass. Uh, we don't need to get the roll gate because that is going to make the car heavier. But we can go with the weight reduction. Then we'll add a little bit of power to top the, top the car off. Yep, this is S2 class. We need to get something which will make it S1 class. Maybe oil. Yep, oil, definitely. Um, so oil puts on a little bit of weight. Uh, 26 pounds to be exact. Uh, or we can change the tires. Okay, you know what? I don't really want to change the tires. Um, the exhaust. We can get this exhaust. This is this is a lot heavier actually. This is a lot heavier. Ah, okay. Okay, so you know what? First, we'll check out the tires. So we can add 17 pounds to it. Uh, but we need to get something which suits the look of this car. These will look good. We'll come back to it. And what else? Nope, not these. These will look good. I'm going with these ones. For sure. Um, I think this is done. 738 horsepower at 3,327 pounds. Uh, I'll just compare it with the tune with the community. Um, this one has a lot more power, but a lot more weight as well. I think no one is going to come close to the power to weight ratio which we have got. Except this one, but this one is rear wheel drive, so this doesn't really matter. Um, I don't even need to compare the power to weight ratio in order to tell you that our car it is better. Uh, yeah, it might have less speed, but everything else is going to be a lot, a lot better. Uh, I'm just going to install the setup, and we'll go for a quick test drive on some of the S1 class routes, but we are going to change the weather. No, you know what, we'll keep it winter. Um, so it goes till 203 miles per hour, which is quite good, I think. I'm not going to change the gearing, because this one is fine. I'm going to change the anti-roll bars. Uh, I'm going to lower it as well. The arrow, yeah. 271 is the lowest it will go to. 
and we're going to put the brakes at 100%. Um, yep, this is fine. So the car is tuned now, and uh, before we go and do any of the races, I want to see what is there in the car master skills as well. Um, we need a cash reward of 200,000 if we go for that one. But I'll just, I'll just get the basic things. Uh, the basic stuff is, should be fine. Mm, I want to get the speed skills ones. Uh, but you know what? I don't want to spend that much credits on that. So, yeah. Good test drive. The gears are very short, I think. This is quite good, honestly. This is like really good. I don't know how we went through that car. We are bound to hit something sooner or later. But yeah, this car is driving really well, even on the snow. Even on the snow, it's doing pretty well. This car is so stable. I want to do one more thing, like instead of tuning it for winter, I want to tune it for normal like summer racing. Because then that'll be a fair comparison. Uh we're going to change the tires, we're going to make it the stock tires. Yeah. So these help with the braking and the handling and the acceleration goes down a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, you have to get the alloys, which will make it S1 class now. Uh, these look nice. No, these are like not good at all. These are like so ugly. I think the one which I'll go for will be... Uh, okay, they are at the starting, I think. Um, this one. Or... Is there anything else? Mm, this might be good. We can go with these ones as well. So, yeah, we'll go with these ones. Install the setup. It's still quite good. We don't have to get the race tires, we're still quite good. Um, but you know what? Before I test drive the car, uh, I need to tune it again. Because the tire pressure needs to be changed. Okay. Um, and after doing that, we really Take the car for a quick race. 
apply the setup. Now, you know what, we'll do this one, the Colossus. I will try to see if this card is any good. So it's going to be a solo race. Let's do it. It's not a speed build for sure, but this card should be good everywhere. Oh, I forgot to create a blueprint. I have to create a blueprint because otherwise the race is going to be in winter. Where is the glasses? Yep, here it is. So enter event, solo, create a custom blueprint, anything goes. Um, I want to change the weather to summer. Summer morning. Yep, I'm going to keep it clear. Confirm. Create blueprint. Okay, I already had the blueprint, but that's okay. Um, yep. Let's see if this card is any good. The way the front bonnet opens, that's good. I like that. The first few gears they are very short. So that helps with acceleration for sure. Uh, it's not that good in the mid speed corners, you can say. Or the high speed corners. Lift together a little bit. But still pretty good. I can't believe that this car is giving this competition. The performance is quite good with this car. Uh, it can be a little bit better, but still quite good. And just that the handling is a little bit. It under steers a little bit. The brakes are very good because as you know when I was braking for that corner I was totally missing the braking point but still the car managed to stop without hitting the wall so that's very good. Um, above 100 in the water I think the steering angle is not that much that's why it's not able to turn that sharply uh,
needed for these corners. It should have cleared it. But it was not able to. But still, I'm happy with the car. It's quite fast. Uh, it only has 6 gears and the 6 gear is quite long. for another top speed run. Hundred and eighty. One ninety. It looks so good from every angle. It is definitely one of the coolest cars. This car looks good and it goes fast. That's a combination which you usually don't see. See, look at this car. It just looks magnificent. Magnificent. And the AI has still not completed the race. We are around 6 seconds ahead of the AI. That's really good. This car is not the fastest car in S1 class, but it is definitely one of the good ones. And even the stock engine which it's got, it's pretty good. So guys, that's it. That is it for this video. And... Uh, let's just get a cool photo of the car here. Um, maybe on another straight. I want the car to be like running when we click the photo. can change the angle Not able to move the camera in the way which I want to. Um, but yeah, this shot looks good when we keep it like this. Um, yep. Yep, this looks really good. So we'll take a photograph. Processing photo. 
See, this looks so cool. So cool. I'm going to save it. We are going to call it um, the Aston Martin. So I'm just going to call it AM for now. Current car, yep. Shift. So, exit the photo mode. Yep, we are done with the video. So, guys, I'll wait for this video. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys like the video and if you want me to continue put like so much of effort into a video where we uh, teach you how to unlock the car unlock the cool cars we will keep you updated with the news uh, in the going on the Forza Horizon 4 uh, and the customization as well so let me know in the comment section below if you guys want me to do that and keep doing that because yeah it takes a lot of effort guys so that's it for this video guys and we'll see you guys in the next one Cheers.